Right, so I watched Manny and Laura's return videos. As of this recording, Manny has only done one video. He did say in his teaser trailer that he was going to be doing three. I don't know if I could even really call it a teaser trailer. He made a video, like a pre-video, and he was saying that he was going to do three, like a three-part docuseries. And um, as of now, he's only done one. And I kind of just wanted to talk about Manny and Laura's videos. <laughs> So let's start off with Manny because we're already talking about him. Okay, so he's supposed to be doing like this three-part docu-series in the first part, which is the only one that he has brought out as of this recording. Um, he basically said that in the part two and three it's more so going to be like them following him around and him showing the audience what he gets up to in his day-to-day -day life because a lot of people are saying like so what you know after everything that was addressed in the first part which was pretty much all of the questions that people have been aren't has been asking what more is there and what he did say is that number two and three is going to be more so about him showing everybody his day-to-day -day life like I guess a behind the scenes and I am interested in seeing that because I think a lot of people think that the things that are on the surface and what they show on Instagram and what they show um, on YouTube like that's it like I don't think people really get that a lot of work is put into it and that a lot of time and energy goes into being an influencer like even though I'm nowhere near the same size as a Manny MUA or the big influencers let's say for example I understand that just doing the videos is time consuming a lot of research goes into it a lot of time goes into it effort energy you've got to constantly be on new trends it takes a lot okay I think just people think that that it's just what they see on the surface and don't necessarily understand everything that goes on to get to the final result I think that's what it is that I'm trying to to say so I understand what he's what he's trying to do so a lot of people are saying that him and his videographer are basically copying the whole Shane Dawson Jeffree Star docuseries template and I kind of feel like that's the hot thing right now Shane wasn't the first person to do docuseries videos I mean we have docuseries in mainstream media like on regular tv like it's just not that big of a deal did he get inspiration probably from the whole Shane Dawson docuseries situation probably why can't he use the same template why why is he not allowed like please just let him do what he's doing but what I will say is that I feel like when he was saying well the reason why he wants to do this docuseries is because he wants to show people what he's been doing over the past month and a bit that he's been off of YouTube it's like hold on you've been off for a month and a half you haven't been off for like a year and a half like let's just you know what could you have really been doing in the space of a month and a half that is so detrimental that we need to see this behind this behind the scenes I don't really feel like we need to see all of that just because of a month on just because of a month and a half break to be fair um, also I was just kind of like why do we need to see his parents I feel like he was trying to tug on our heartstrings and try to look try to be a lot more personable because it shows that this didn't just affect Manny it also affected his family um, because they work with him blah 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 but it's just kind of like I don't really feel like his parents really needed to be involved in the whole docuseries thing because they weren't involved with him being involved in the whole scandal as such he did that all on his own so why is he not standing up for himself on his own like he needs to stand on his two feet the same way that he was you know he it was only him who was doing the mess in the first place you know with, along with his his little friends so I just kind of feel like it was just unnecessary for his parents to be there. Although, what I will say is that his dad, I live for, I absolutely live for. He's just so direct. He's like, he, no, he doesn't play around. He's like, I'm the one who's on the website. And if you say anything that I don't like, I'm the one deleting it, okay? That's me. He's not playing around. And he's just like direct. He's He, he was not here for nobody's feelings. What he was saying is that like, Manny apparently isn't very confrontational. He doesn't feel like Manny really stands up for himself. And I'm just kind of like, I feel like he does, but in a roundabout way. It's like he won't be necessarily direct. Although in this 
to in this first video i found that he was being a little bit more direct because the questions that were being asked were direct i don't know whether or not manny was the one who wrote the questions and told his videographer to ask them or if his videographer was the one who uh, wrote the questions that himself but either way i feel like the questions that were asked were really really good they were straight to the point they weren't like it wasn't a roundabout situation something that i did find a little bit um something that I, I'm kind of like why is it that he still doesn't understand or get it was the whole thing about the social climbing situation where he was saying listen why is it that when you do collabs with people everyone calls it social climbing but whenever other people do collabs it's not it's not treated as social climbing and it's like okay how do we not understand this by now every time let me just Manny in, in case you are watching this which I highly doubt that you will but the reason why people have an issue with with you and call this social climate isn't because you're doing collabs it's the fact that once you have once you have a relationship with somebody and you're doing a collab with them what is noticed is the fact that when you drop somebody or you stop hanging out with somebody you immediately attach yourself to another person so it's just kind of like so you're jumping from person to person to person to person and that's what makes people feel like you are social climbing it's not the fact that you Manny MUA are doing collabs it's the the fact that you do the collabs and you hang out with that person for x amount of time something might happen but then as soon like literally as soon as it's done you've got a new person so that's why it's looked at as social climate at least with these other people who do collabs and yes they do get other people's subscribers as a result of that but the thing is is that we do see them on their own for a period of time it's like they're not always attached to other people and i guess it's like because you have so you have public relationships with people when something ends the relationship nobody comes and says well this is what has ended the relationship and we understand that you, you know you're allowed to have things for yourself but if you're having a public relationship with somebody it's kind of like so people want to know <laughs> people want to know but i guess you're not obligated to tell people um something else that people were saying was that he was like using his mental health situation to make people feel sorry for him and i'm not a hundred percent sure with that because he has spoken about his mental health situation his depression his anxiety before so it's not like oh all of a sudden he has it's not like all of a sudden he has depression anxiety he went to the hospital blah 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 we've known about this we we've known about this from way before so i can't really hold him at fault for mentioning this because it, it's, it's a fact of life or fact of his life that he has uh, mental health issues that he is battling would you say that he was you know using it and like bringing it to the forefront for for sympathy possibly possibly and i personally don't necessarily feel that he was using that because the two videos that he did was it two videos or was it one video i can't remember his apology video or videos was like he didn't really like there was more that he could have said in those apology videos in regards to his mental health um, that would have probably have helped him but he didn't he revealed it in this video if does that make sense like he's revealed more in this video about his mental health situation than he did in his apology video or videos i can't remember which possibly would have helped him out a little bit better there like he, he didn't do that so it, that one to me is a little bit of a tough one i can't really see say but i don't necessarily feel like it was being used i think he was just saying this is what it is and this is what happened and he was just addressing the whole hospital trip hospital bracelet that was that he was caught with on a cat on a picture but the thing is i can't even say caught with because i'm sure he was fully aware that he had the hospital bracelet on because he's taking pictures of his hand and somebody else's hand together he's fully aware that he's taking a picture of his hospital bracelet and that people are going to be like saying oh what's going on there like who's hand has a hospital bracelet is it manny is he okay is it his date who is his date is he okay da, da, da. you know what i'm saying so i'm just kind of like mm, i'm not too sure but i just kind of get the vibe that he was just saying this is what it is do i feel like this whole thing was a pr stunt most definitely i feel like the the whole production on a whole really was a pr stunt because quite frankly 
I don't really think that anybody really cares about where you've been for the past month and a half. I don't, I, I just think that people want to know like what you're going to do to change, whether or not you're actually going to do a proper apology that doesn't, that doesn't seem like it's um, disingenuous. Like people want to know that. Yes, you answered a lot of the questions that people wanted to know the answers to, but there was still a lot of things that people wanted to know that you had not answered. Also, he apologized to Karina Kaboom. That was well overdue, well overdue, but I'm so glad that he did that and I'm so glad that he did it publicly in this YouTube video because I think that she really did deserve that video I haven't gone over to her channel to see whether or not she's addressed that but I feel like she was definitely due an apology and if you don't know what the situation was about Karina Kaboom and Manny anyway basically the owner of Gerard Cos Gerard Cosmetic Gerard Makeup Beauty whatever a few years ago they were going through some reviews of the Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks I think it was and Karina Kaboom was like this was like the crappiest thing I've ever used or so something like that like she was running this lipstick she said it was like a, she's she she just tore it a new a-hole okay and Manny was snapchatting and he caught the owner of Gerard Cosmetics saying she's the ugliest person that she has ever seen in her life and even though he did a video like apologizing to everybody saying oh my god you know it, it was just kind of like okay and what about the person that like what about the actual person that this was being said to it doesn't matter whether or not you were saying it or not it doesn't really matter whether or not she was being professional or not she bought the item with her own money she can say whatever the hell she wants to to say about it if she thinks that it's a piece of then it's a piece of what she doesn't have to be professional she's not working for any company she is on camera saying what she wants to say so i feel like he was bang out of order for not apologizing to her in the first place but i'm so glad that he apologized to her now but again i do feel like the whole thing was like a big pr stunt because <laughs> It, yeah, I just got the vibe that it was a big PR stunt, like it really was. On to Laura Lee's video. Now, first of all, what irritated me about her video was that she's doing a video about homelessness. Now, I don't remember her doing any, like all of her tweets and whatnot, I don't remember any of them being directed at homeless people. I could be wrong, but I don't remember any of them being directed at homeless people. I know there was one about body shaming, there was, there was one or two about black people, uh, but I don't remember there being one, I don't remember there being one about homeless people. Not that she shouldn't make a video about helping the homeless or bringing attention to homelessness because I, a lot of attention needs to be brought to homelessness. But I think that if you're going to be doing a comeback video and it's going to be on a heavy subject, I think that probably it should be about something that you were tweeting about in the first place so that we can make relation to the fact that you're saying that you have changed. So why not do a video on um, racism or on body shaming or on one of the subjects that you were tweeting about in the first place? That will show us, or that will start getting the ball rolling on showing us that you have changed in regards to what you were tweeting about in the first place. That's what would make sense to me. Now I understand that she's saying that she's gonna be doing other videos and this isn't gonna be the only video which is gonna be uh, tackling tough subjects, but I think it would have been smart to start off with one of those kind of situations seeing as those seeing as those were the things that you were targeting in your tweets um second of all this comeback video is longer than both of her apology videos put together <laughs> So this is where I just kind of feel like this this whole thing is just BS. Thirdly, uh, yeah, thirdly, um, she opens up the video by filming people from her car, like people on Skid Row. And she's filming these people, like a long row of people. And I'm like, this to me already feels like a PR stunt, but you're filming real people who are down and out from a car. And I'm sure that none of them know that they're being videotapes i'm sure that none of them don't know what this is like what is this footage for i'm sure none of them have probably given her any permission i can't say for certain but it just it just seemed like you've got a whole road of people what did you say to every single one of those people as you went down the road oh yeah by the way i'm gonna be filming for youtube for my comeback video i didn't like that it made me feel away it made me feel away it's like you're filming these people who are really going through it really really going Going through it and I'm sure like you couldn't have told those what 30 40 50 people that this is what you're that you're filming them and that this is what you're filming them for that bugged me that bugged me 
Also, when the camera turned to her, like when, um, like in the next scene, it was Laura Lee with a full beat. Don't get me wrong, she looked beautiful. She looked gorgeous. I remember when, she, when it first, when it changed from the people on Skid Row to her, I just was like, oh my gosh, her makeup looks beautiful. She looks amazing. Like her, her face was just like full glam. I love the look. And then I was just kind of like, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sinead, hold on, hold on. This is supposed to be a video, a comeback video, where she's talking about a really hard heavy subject and you're looking glam to the gods you're looking beat that really annoyed me because we're talking about people who are like they we're talking about homeless people and you're coming out here looking glam and on top of that this is your return video this is your what oh that made me feel uncomfortable as well i feel like you should have toned it down pulled it back even if you have like a little bb cream and you've done your your eyebrows cool but she was like be like glammed out i feel like if this wasn't her return video and this was just a random video where it's like you know what guys i really want to talk about homelessness and you know just out of nowhere just out of nowhere like no scandal this isn't a return video um if she had done it with a full beat and this was just a random video that she's out of nowhere dropped i wouldn't have an issue with it but because this is her return video and she's supposed to be coming humble that's what it is she's supposed to be coming humble but you're looking glam and we're talking about homeless people laura this whole video felt fake she was barely talking when she was doing the interviews okay yeah fair enough let them talk but she was barely talking it didn't seem like she really cared that's how I felt like her interaction with these people that she was talking to it felt like she 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 kind of zoned out that's how it felt like she was just sitting there going there was not there was barely any interaction and it just felt so forced so fake even when she did like the voiceovers for certain things like there was one guy and she was saying oh he's now in full-time employment or something Carava. even the tone of her voice just sounded like she didn't care she was just like I'm, yeah let's just get a good take let's just get a good take yeah that one was decent just throw it in that's how it came across to me and i was just kind of like you know what you know what and this girl is talking about she's changed manny laura you are both write-offs i don't care what nobody says this was all pr this was all junk to me i swear to god this was all junk to me both of you made me feel like this is just pr you want to get back in people's good graces you need to get your adsense back up yeah people are still watching your videos but you need to continue to make fresh new content in order for that adsense to build up and build up you need that check and something that somebody else said which was very 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 important is the fact that they've got they've They've got stuff to sell they've got their own businesses they've got products to sell they need to get back into people's good graces because otherwise that they they're not gonna have any money they're not gonna have nothing to sell they like no one's gonna be buying anything all of this was a pr stunt to me i'm just i'm just not here for it i will watch part two and three of manny's docuseries i don't think it's necessary but i would like to see his behind the scenes not because of the scandal i just want to see his behind the scenes because i would like to see what goes into him making videos into him doing this whole influencer thing that's the only reason i want to watch it but aside from that i just kind of feel like they are write-offs in regards to them being influencers and people i can't f with you let me know what you feel down below but for me it was just it was just pr that's how i feel anyway that's it that's all i have to say on them 